How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play I Got a Woman by Ray Charles on guitar. I'm going to break down this classic chord progression step by step, show you the chord voicings that I would use. We're going to use some six chords and some seventh chords in kind of a bluesy, soulful way. But before we get started, I really appreciate you checking out the links below if you're interested in learning about soloing. I've got a free book that you can download that's all about soloing called Melodic Expressions, as well as some other blues training. So check that out as my free gift to you. All right, with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play I Got a Woman as recorded by Ray Charles. Now I'm gonna split this up into a few different sections here. And we're gonna start right after the vocal intro, you know, the well, I got a woman. So let me explain these chord changes first. We're gonna start off on that A6 chord, which is, I'm gonna play the top four strings on all these chord shapes. So I'm playing seven, six, seven, five for that A6 chord. We're gonna play two bars of A6, then we're gonna go to E7. And for the E7, I'm gonna switch to this shape, six, seven, five, seven from the D string down. And then we're gonna go back to A6 for a bar, and then D7 for a bar. Now the cool thing about going from A6 to D7 is you just change one note there. See that middle note? And now you're on the D7. Then we're gonna go back to A6, and then we're gonna go to A7, which is where we just bring our pinky out to the eighth fret there. So that's gonna sound like this. Okay, and the rhythm that I'm doing, we've got sort of this up-tempo swinging thing. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna use all downs. But that's, that's the groove there. So in context, one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to D7 and E7. We're gonna play this. four bars of each chord there. We're gonna play the rhythm pattern twice. So one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, E7, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So that's the first half here, and then we're gonna go into the she give me money when I'm in need, that part. So here's a recap of the first section. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Then we get into the she give me money part, and that's gonna sound like this. We're gonna start on an A7. One, two, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna play A7, and we're gonna have four bars of that. So just like the previous few bars, we're gonna play the pattern two times. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Then we'll do the same thing on a D7. One, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Then we'll go to A6 for two bars. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. E7 for two bars. Then we have a bar of A6, a bar of D7, a bar of A6, and a bar of E7, like this. 
So all together, this section sounds like this. She give me money. All right, we've got one more section after this. We've got the sax solo, and there's a couple different chords in here. And then we're gonna go into what's called a stop time, just sort of these hits where the band's gonna break. So here's the sax solo, and keep in mind this happens after we go back and repeat everything, those first two sections that we learned. Again, here we go. I want two, I want two, three, four. So what happens here is we play six bars of the A6. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one. Then in the sixth bar, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one. So that's A6, then to a B7 chord, which is seven, eight, seven, seven. Then E7. So that first part goes one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Then we'll go back to A6 for a bar, then A7 for a bar, then D7, then we're gonna play F13 over E flat here. So that's gonna go. So that F13 over E flat is six, seven, seven, six. It's a great chord. Then we'll go A6 to B7, E7, A6, E7. And then we're gonna do this little walk up. So that's like an A6 and then just the single notes. E, F sharp, G sharp. So one. Uh, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, she's there to love me. So then we go into the stop time part. So here's the whole sax solo section played as one piece. I want two, three, four. Then we have the stop time there, and that's she's she's there to love me both day and night. And what that is is really just this up a half step. It's like the A6, but up one fret, so it becomes B flat six. We got that for 16 bars. The rhythm's just like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Have fun practicing I Got a Woman on guitar. Be sure to play this along with that classic Ray Charles recording. Also, don't forget to download your free PDF all about soloing if you're interested in maybe playing this chord progression like the sax solo or just the main vamp, sort of the end of the tune just stays on that A6. If you want to solo over this chord progression, my book, Melodic Expressions, is really going to help you know how to approach major, minor, and dominant chords, which are the main chords you're going to run into in most commercial music. So be sure to pick that up at the link down below. Also, feel free to leave any comments for future song requests down below. I'm always looking to the comments for future video ideas. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.